Nabad, promoting watershed activities in the community. In India, an estimated two-third of the cultivated area is rain-fed. But frequent droughts and failure of monsoon wreak havoc for farming, leading to uncertainty and poor crop production in rain-fed areas. As a result, an estimated area of 146.82 million hectares suffers from various kinds of land degradation due to heavy deforestation and denudation of soils and lack of suitable soil and water conservation measures the rainwater received does not percolate much in many areas for replenishing the aquifers and is lost as runoff in order to bring about a comprehensive watershed development approach with community participation and creating community infrastructure for micro watershed projects through the active involvement of gram panchayats, community based organizations, local people, SHGs, and local NGOs, a watershed development fund, WDF, has been set up in Nabad with equal contribution of 100 crore rupees each from the Government of India and Nabad. Under this intervention, Nabad has done pioneering work in Nalgonda and Karimnagar districts of the Telangana state. These districts have scanty rainfall. As a result, high dependence on open wells and bore wells, fast depleting water levels, frequent failure of monsoon, severe soil erosion, etc. pose challenges for sustainable agriculture development in the regions. In Nalgunda, the Nerada Watershed Program was initiated in the year 2008 with the financial assistance from Nabad in Chityal Mandal, covering three villages, Nerada, Chityala and Urmandla with a total land area of 1,359 hectares. This is being implemented by Society for Women Education and Environmental Trainings, SWEET. In Karimnagar, the watershed program commenced in 2009 with financial assistance from Nabad in Mantani Mandal. Adwisoman Pali watershed covers two villages Adavi Soman Palli and Nagapalli with a total land area of 936.97 hectares. Arenda watershed covers two villages, Arenda and Malaram with a total land area of 1358.75 hectares. Venkatapur watershed also covers two villages. Venkatapu and Swarnapalli with a total land area of 1,329.75 hectares. All the three watershed programs based in Karimnagar are being implemented by Grama Navanirman Samiti, GNNS and Satata Harita. All the three NGOs, SWEET, GNNS and Satata Harita work under the guidance of Dan Wailagam Tank Foundation Resource Support Organization. A slew of measures were taken up to implement the program such as water conservation, agricultural productivity enhancement activities and livelihood support initiatives that had spin-off benefits for a large number of families residing in these villages. To begin with, exposure visits for teams comprising both men and women from the villages were organized to Gitta Banda Tanda and Medikonda watershed in Varangal district. Under Shramadan, the village people constructed percolation tanks in their respective regions. In the capacity building phase, CBP implementation 
Both area and drainage line treatments were undertaken in arable and wastelands and these were brought under cultivation. Soil erosion reduced, runoff was controlled and soil moisture improved, thereby enabling the crops to withstand long dry spells. Besides, water level increased to the extent of 7 to 10 feet in different open wells and bore wells are running for the whole year in the area treated. Employment generation increased substantially. Under add-on activities, vermin compost making was undertaken that led to its usage in the fields, resulting in considerable reduce of pest attacks on the crops. Reduced usage of fertilizers brought down the cost of vegetable cultivation. An attitudinal change is noticeable among the villagers, especially among the small holding farmers who evinced active interest in farming and adopted a change in cropping patterns. Hitherto, the farmers preferred growing only paddy, cotton, red gram and maize. Now, they are also taking up vegetable cultivation, pulses and horticulture in addition to their earlier crops. Many farmers have taken up fruit plantation in their respective fields. Migration by the laborers, especially among the youth, has totally stopped since employment opportunities in various watershed activities within the village increased. The committees formed during this period oversee the work in progress and take active interest in fulfilling their responsibility. The Gram Panchayat plays a positive role in motivating the members. Human resource development in all spheres of activities has taken a lead, be it leadership, bookkeeping, institution development or transparency in dealings. Convergence with line departments the Watershed Development Program has tied up with TSMIP. It provides drip irrigation assistance to the farmers who have taken up plantation activities in their fields. DAT centers at Nalagonda and Karimnagar assist farmers in Sri cultivation in their fields. Agriculture Department helps in Azola cultivation awareness creation on vermicompost units to watershed beneficiaries and supplies agricultural implements benefiting the farmer community. Animal Husbandry Department conducts animal health camps. Forest Department helps with bund plantation in the watershed area. Horticulture Department promotes vegetable cultivation. Training institutions provide trainings to unemployed youth and women in watershed villages. The APEM loan lending, recovery and recycling has shown a healthy trend. Under Agricultural Productivity Enhancement Activity, the VWDC and PFA extended financial assistance to marginal farmers towards fodder plots, purchase of power sprayers, chaff cutter, hand sprayers, purchase of bullocks and carts and for developing vegetable plots. Under livelihood activities, the VWDC and PFA extended financial assistance to provide livelihood support to beneficiaries belonging to the poorest of the poor families for establishing petty businesses, purchase of sewing machines, milch animals, flour mill, laundry shop, saloon, etc. From the loan repayments received, financial assistance under Agriculture Productivity Enhancement Activities was provided to beneficiaries towards purchase of bullocks, chaff cutter, weeding machines, making vermin compost pits and developing vegetable plots. Under Livelihood Component, Beneficiaries were assisted 
for purchase of milch animals, establishing petty businesses, purchase of sewing machines, brick making, power looms, midday meal program, motorcycle repair center, carpentry, goatry, etc. The maintenance fund collection from the beneficiaries has been jointly undertaken by the VWDC and PFA. The VWDC maintains total transparency in funds distribution. After visiting the workstation to conduct checks as per the measurements as recorded in M book and issuing of checks as per the measurements made in the field, the VWDC conducts meeting and passes the resolution to the effect. Further, the VWDC ensures payments within three days after withdrawal to the laborers at a common place. VWDC has set up a watershed office in the village, displaying an entrance board and a social audit board. In order to create awareness about watershed development program among the village people, wall paintings relating to it are displayed prominently. The VWDC conducts four Gram Sabhas in a year. The focus being to share the financial status of watershed activities in the region and also to motivate those farmers who have not taken up watershed works to do so. Decision making by the VWDC is with the quorum of members. It also maintains the books of accounts and regularly updates it. The watershed development program initiated by NABAT has ushered in a holistic approach towards overall development. What has happened in the districts of Nalgonda and Karimnagar is a new thrust towards accountability that is helping in transforming the rural landscape and also empowering the poor people to sustainable livelihood opportunities and conserving natural resources for bountiful agriculture needs. Among the village folk, there is a sense of ownership and pride in feeling empowered as they earn rightfully what is theirs.